Alright, this is going to be fun. I want to do a quick cleanup of this week. Uh, it used to be that I was, now look at these pieces. And I found some other stuff that is just brokes that I, you know, put in the koi pond or whatever. And I can't say enough that it used to be that uh, I'd run 11 miles or 10 miles or 5 miles and I'd be so happy uh, just to find, uh, you know, one of these arrowheads, one of these artifacts. And I'd come back and, with something like this and I'd be like, oh my gosh, you know, I ran 8 miles and I found one arrowhead. Now that I understand the land, oftentimes out, I'll find, you know, a good handful. But I want to show you this stuff. This stuff down in the frame here at the bottom. This stuff is going to go. I'm going to share it and give it away. Everything in the frame down here at the bottom. And uh, I want to do. I do want to say this. I'm going to show it up close. That this stuff right here, uh, in terms of uh, this uh, hammerstone and these pieces down here, uh, are taken already. Um, the they they're already shared. I'll put it that way. And uh, this is a fantastic. Uh, hammerstone worked on both ends quartz module just fits right in your hand I can imagine them doing stuff with it all the time I don't know if I'm getting my focus in not sure nice though you can see this thing glowing just worth seeing you know that is a nice hammerstone I found you know quite a few of those, those I like those look at that thing fits right in the hand. If I can get any good focus on this close up, there we go. And of course a couple pieces of, of uh, prime pottery. Those are from uh, Sand Hill. And these three pieces which are just stellar. Um, this middle one was on film and the other two I, di I didn't get to put them there. Just a nice piece of quartz. Look at that arrowhead from Saponi. Another one from Saponi just before I got out of there and left. It's a nice piece. It's not really broken on the top. They resharpened it, what have you. Um, you can see that. They might have desired for the ears to be bigger at the top, but, uh, you know, that happens. Uh, and then these, these have got to go. Uh, I'm going to share them with somebody. I'll find a, a good person to share them with. They're all rye light variety. Look at this stuff. Basics, what I call basics. Just needed to make them, needed to get the job done. Uh, you know, when you look at them, you look at a group like this, it's unbelievable to me just to think about, you know, um, a North American Indian carrying, uh, let's say there's five there, five shafts, five arrows. Uh, and, and all five arrows have different variety of tips on them. That would be a really cool look just to see the different tips that they had ready, ready to go. They could have been carrying ten or five Six, seven, eight. Imagine them carrying eight with just eight different tips all set and ready to go. Uh, which inevitably, I mean, stands the reason that they did. Think about that. Carrying eight arrows uh, with a variety of different tips. Maybe they preferred Guilfords and they had a, a few Guilfords. Maybe they preferred points like this and the quartz. They had a few of those. Maybe one or two of those. Maybe a couple of rye lights. And they just had a whole quiver of these ready to go with their atlatls. That's a cool thought. Now at the top, on my display quality stuff, I tried to get them wet so I could show you some stuff. I found a couple of these today, but let's just go through these. I found this over when my son was fishing for bluegills on Sunday. Nice little, I think Big Sandy. Nice little piece though, look at this thing. Now let's go right along. One tip here I found in Site 2 this week. That was just a timeout. I only found one that timeout, but you know, certainly better than nothing. Like I said, I, I'm working on my thankfulness to remember the times when I, when I go out and I just find one and be so happy. I've got to I've got to remain that way. Got to remain that way. Look at this thing from Stonehill. That was a stellar piece this week. It just turned out that I really liked that piece. That point. Really did. One of my favorites. I found this today, which was really neat. Uh, looks to be possibly, it's rhyolite, but it looks to be possibly a tip that they made into a Marl Mountain because the bottom here, the bottom is all worked. Mm, there's the focus. The bottom is all worked to uh, a bevel 
on every on each side right around that's a really unique point I like that when they're all worked and you can tell they took some care and this one's on film I found today which is an old piece it's really cool uh, just the cleanup on it it's thin down here at the bottom it's really granular it's hard as a well I don't want to say hard as a rock I mean that's ironic but it is Here's a nice little point made out of sugar quartz. Look at that. And then uh, at uh, Stone Hill, this came this week, and this was a nice piece of quartz. This thing was worked. Good cleanup look. It's worked all the way around. They even beveled that off. This piece was uh, uh, just really great to come across. Look at that artifact. Nice stuff. It just finds a good place. It just has a place in my heart. That's a nice piece. Nice look at it right there. And then today, this is a stellar Marl Mountain. Look at this thing. Good natural light in here, so I wanted to do this now quickly. Can't beat that. Nice pieces. Anyway. Just a little bit of a cleanup on those and I'm going to put in my display if I can find a place. If not, I'm just going to give them away. And uh, that's a good week. And the reason I did that is because I've gonna got, I've got a little beach trip i got to make in the next couple days. So uh, we're going to wet some lines, my boys and I, and uh, just see what we can do. Man, just a nice look at everything can I say? Thanks for tuning in to Indian Trace. Look small and miss small.